What's up everyone, uh, Gregtify here today. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, go ahead and do a color correction with After Effects and uh, the program After Effects and uh, Looks, which is uh, part of uh, another program which you can actually get and I'll tell you in a minute. Um, so what you're going to need first is a, uh, a clip. Uh, this clip uh, is going to be of uh, whatever game you like, COD 4, Modern Warfare 2, Battle for Bad Company, does not matter. Black Ops, the whole 10, 20 yards, whatever. Um, we're going to be doing a color cor correction. A color correction is what uh, makes your clip look really good, makes it look good in the videos you like to do, and whatever else. So let's go ahead and get started. So, programs you're going to need After Effects. And, um, hang on, just let me go in here real quick. So, this is what it's going to look like. And the other program is Magic Bullet. So, let's, this, this is just a preview of what you're going to, what your thing is going to look like. I mean, to me, that looks pretty good if you have to look at this. I mean, the colors, the oranges, the blues, the reds, the purples, all fits in there. So, let's go ahead and file. Go ahead and close this. Alright, now you're gonna open a new new sorry. New new project. Don't save. Um so this is gonna open a new project for you. And now you're gonna go to file, import, file. Uh what this does allows you to import your uh, videos. So you're gonna go ahead and open COD4 Triple. Um this is just the regular footage that uh we got from my HDPVR. So you're gonna go ahead and put it down here, and there you go. There's your quality. To me, that looks really good. That's really good quality for commentaries, um, gameplay commentaries, with Black Ops and everything. So, uh, uh, when once you get all that done, uh, it's gonna load. Um, so let's just go and watch this for a second. So there's no color blending. There's no editing. There's nothing. Just a bam triple. That's it. So we're gonna improve that and make it a lot better. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna import that, like I just said, into here. Click on it, go to Effect, and then you're going to go down to Magic Bullet, and go to Looks. Okay, this is a little notch is going to pop up that says Looks, and it says Look, and then you're going to go to Edit. This will open a whole new window onto your profile and everything. So, forget about Looks over here. Forget about that. Don't go over there at all. You know, we're not using that. We're going to use Tools. We're going to do it manually. So, you're going to go ahead and head over to post and um, you're going to go ahead and go to lift gamma gain what this does is it lifts the colors in your project and makes them look gorgeous so go to the top here um, go ahead and play around with these colors make them whatever you like I mean whatever you would like so I'm going to go ahead and go back to regular that's regular so now we're going to move it down to a nice light blue here um, and gamma that lifts and this is gamma and gamma I'm going to go down to a nice dark blue. And then in gain, you're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put a nice orange. So it gives a luminous blue with an orange. Okay. So once that's done, go back to look, sorry, go back to tools up here and um there's not much else in here that we're going to use. And so we're going to head off to camera and um go ahead and camera gonna want to use curves what curves is it lifts um, and you're going to go ahead and edit add it to camera the back piece and uh, what this does is it makes the shadows uh, more prominent and uh, distinguishes them between uh, what's regular and shadowy so these two here are the things you're gonna be editing these two here are the top two bottom two top so start off with the bottom and you're gonna go ahead and see that's what it looks like raised now this is where we're going to make it look nice. So you're going to go ahead and put that down. Just not fully, but pretty nicely down. And you're going to make a nice arch effect. So take the two, make it like that. Take the top two, and make it like that. So it's a nice arch. It just fits nice per perfectly. So, I mean, already we're getting the, the look of a professional montage. So once that's done, go ahead and hands off, head off to Lens. Um, first thing you're going to add in lens is Vignette. 
uh, what this does is adds blackness oops my bad is it adds blackness to your camera and um, to your film so go ahead and I like to put it uh, just like remnants of it on the sides as you can see you see the blackness and it makes it look that much better so go ahead and after you do that add edge softness this adds blur to the edges blur 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 just think blur makes it look watch some montages go ahead you'll see blur in them I mean you don't notice it but it's there and it looks great um, so just go ahead and add some blur um, I'm sorry edge softness and it should make it look like that I mean make sure it's just in the corner of the UAV and then it sh doesn't go to the um, words and it's just on the scope of your uh, the back end of your scope um, and then just the top right make sure it looks like this or if you don't like that much blur you can go like there but I like to add that much more blur so after you're done with that go to map and here's an important step after, when you go to map you need to use diffusion what this does it, it makes all the colors pop out and just makes it that much better it uh, adds a nice soft kind of um, textury color you'll see in a second so once you add that it should look like this and it should just lift some colors that bounce out and uh, you can go ahead and set this I usually like to do it with the coordinating colors in my montage to blue okay um, so once you're done with that that is pretty much it for your color correction it's not that hard and it makes your montage look so much better I don't want to see these montages um, coming out these days I see some amateur editors um, coming out with these montages that just are terrible no color correction just straight raw footage with music that's it's not an, it's not an edit that's just crap um, so uh, this is what you're gonna end up with um, okay so once you're done with that go ahead and press ok and it's gonna add to your right original stock footage so this is regular oh, I'm sorry never mind that's what it looks regular like I said before that's what it looked like regular I, I guess you can kinda see it on the top left and then that's your edit so let's go ahead and play this go ahead and skip forward here a bit to the triple Oops, a little too much alright so let's start here as you can see look at these colors just popping out of your screen with the blues and the all the colors and there's your triple and look at that look at that explosion right there with the purples out of it and everything let's go and watch that again just right there just watch it boom the triple bam that's it I mean it, it, it takes what five minutes and it makes your montage look so much better I mean they I mean it just I don't know it just makes it look so much better um, if thank you guys for watching this is Greg to five please go ahead and like this video that's that little thumb thumbs it up and um, favorite it and subscribe uh, if you guys want more tutorials like this you can go ahead and uh, just ask I mean send me a PM shoot a comment down this video do whatever because I'm into making more videos to help you guys out I mean I know a lot of stuff in the editing and everything and I just want to help you guys out so if you guys want a request please just tell me I have many programs to help you out so thank you guys for watching uh, this has been Grectify uh, I will talk to you guys later peace guys